We are here at the Zulu Coronation in KwaZulu Natal, South Africa, where they're crowning the new Zulu king. It's crazy. But there's 16 million people represented in all from everywhere from all around Southern Africa. This is gonna be an insane video. Yep, you guessed it. It's another one of those travel days. Oh yeah. <laughs> said, oh darn, I have to sit next to Austin on the plane. <laughs> Colden in Zambia. But look, it's so green. It's so green. We are in Durban making our way to the um, Zulu coronation where they're crowning the Zulu king. A bit of a rush this morning because I guess there's some complications for all of the kings getting in. There hasn't been hotels booked or anything like that. So we're going over to that hotel so that we don't have to go through security and then we'll ride with all of the kings to the stadium, which is right there. It's gonna be an exciting day. We made it to the hotel. Tell us, tell us about what's on your, what you got there. My, my crown? Yeah. This is a traditional um, Zulu head headband, I guess you would say. And the the prince said, "Hey, every man at the ceremony has to have one of these." So he, he gave it to me. Um, it's actually, I think it's real. I think it's real. Like, I'm not sure what this would be, leopard or cheetah or, or something like that. It's really, it's really nice. And I don't know. It's pretty good, eh? <laughs> So we had to do security for our vehicle? Yeah, we just went through security, had the dog sniff the vehicle, we had to go through all the security things and then we had to get in the car. Which is two mile, two kilometers away from this ceremony, so now we have to drive all the way back there. We're going there. Alright, we made it into the... Um, I guess our section, yeah. I guess, for, for the event. Guys, this is absolutely incredible. Look at this. <laughs> All right, that is the end of the ceremony. It was incredible. Yeah, it was, it was so cool. Uh, it's just so cool to see a nation, I think, just so united. And they're all coming together to celebrate their leader, which I think is really great. Um, yeah, and the king had a great speech. He wants to improve the economy. He wants to improve the lives of his people. So 
yeah, we're gonna go grab something to eat, and then I think ourselves and the rest of the kings and special guests are coming for uh, for dinner this evening. So uh, the day is definitely not over yet. I love them because when I think of African culture, this is what I think of right here. It's so pretty in here. This is fancier so than, fancy. than our wedding, than, our wedding. than any other than wedding, than any other, any other celebration. <laughs> this is so amazing. Nice. Guys, it's look at so these pretty. candles. They're floating so on water. Pretty. Fire on water. Yeah. Clearly, you can tell Austin has not been to many fancy events. <laughs> All right, guys, so after that, it got pretty crazy. We didn't um, film a whole lot, but the the next day, I mean, Tate, what happened? Yeah, so the next day, we were actually able to meet with the king in person, which was so cool. And so we were taken out to this remote lodge that the king was staying at, and we sat in this conference room along with our friend who was helping us coordinate the meeting. And we sat and waited for like 15 minutes, and we were like, oh, is he gonna come? Like, you know, it's the day after his coronation, so he's probably tired, just wants to relax, be with his family. And then after 15 minutes of waiting, he walked out and into the conference room and sat down with us. And we chatted for like 45 minutes yeah, to an hour. Yeah. Like it was amazing. And, and the king of Eswatini um, was waiting on him. Yeah, and he, yeah. Was, he was just chilling with, with us. Right, right, great. just hanging out. And he was yeah. super kind, super personable. Like we connected very well with him. He spent some time in the States. We were able to connect over that. He's been to some of the same churches we've been to. So it was, it was cool and uh, an awesome meeting. And yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about him. Awesome. Christian loves the Lord, has a lot of good vision um, and things that he wants to accomplish now that he's king for his people to have the kingdom of God be established among the Zulu people, which is just awesome. Yeah. I think we were just blown away by his um, ability to, to lead his character, his, his love for his people, and we just really do have yeah. amazing things. We walked out of, of that meeting and also out of South Africa just, just in, in awe yeah. of um, the Zulu people and how amazing they are, kind and like zealous and um, yeah, we, it, it was the whole thing just doesn't even feel real to Yeah, honest. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a few days later, we're here in Manza, um, Zambia. It's like right next to the border of Congo and Northern mm -hmm. Zambia. We're doing a training and tomorrow we, we're actually, um, we've got something really big happening in our next yeah. video that you guys will have to, um, come back for. But, yeah. um, yeah, this is, this has been such a crazy adventure. Thank you for joining us on this and, um, uh, until the next video.